And thanks to record high temperatures and dry conditions, southern Colorado is once again at high risk for wildfires. But how do conditions now compare to the conditions before the devastating Waldo Canyon fire? Cardio News Channel 13's Bart Bedsel is live at Mountain Shadows Park tonight with the answer. And Bart, next week will mark four years since that fire. It will, Heather. Now, even if there were a fire today, there just aren't as many trees or other fuels to burn up there. So that is somewhat of a comforting thought here. But there are still a lot of other areas across southern Colorado where the potential for a similar disaster is high. It's not just the one at Fort Carson or in Los Animas County, but also fires in New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, and California making headlines this week. For some, like the Teals, the recent smoke plumes and hazy skies bring back memories of another catastrophe. Thursday morning, we said, oh, look at that. Pikes Peak is obscured. Everything, it looks like 2012. Nearly four years later, the Waldo Canyon fire is still something most people in this neighborhood don't enjoy talking about. But it has had at least one positive impact. It has certainly raised awareness here about wildfires in general. I will say that since the Waldo Canyon fire and the Black Forest fire, people are definitely more aware of the fire danger in the area, even though it's always been there. I don't think I'm worried, but you definitely take a little more uh, precaution, uh, you know, when you go out. So, how does 2016 compare to 2012? The biggest difference is the drought. In late June of 2012, the entire state was included in the moderate drought category, with nearly half in the extreme drought category. This year, thanks to a wet fall and spring, only 4% of the state is at minimal drought status, with the rainy season expected to arrive in July. If the monsoon doesn't set up as, as normal, uh, we could see a rapid deterioration of conditions, but right now it's much different than 2012. And the residents of Mountain Shadows hope it stays that way. Now, the Fort Carson fire, as we mentioned a few moments ago, is believed to be caused by lightning earlier this week. The cause of the Waldo Canyon fire four years ago still under investigation. Officials believe it was the result of some type of human action, but whether it was accidental or intentional, still unknown. Live at Mountain Shadows tonight, Bart Bensel, KRDO, News Channel 13.